So for this video, we got Princess Jasmine bringing us taxes on page 345. Her hair is lovely and braided. Um, and check out those earrings, right? So um, we're supposed to understand why we pay federal taxes, uh, right, to fund the government. Is that is that simple enough? Um, but right, like. Taxes go to pay for all of the boring, mundane things, as well as the politicians' salaries and, and um, whether your state and other things. I think your taxes go to pay my salary. I'm technically a Michigan employee, a state of Michigan employee, and all the rest. Um, and then federal taxes fund all the federal things. So eh, we're going to talk about. I want to focus on the mathematics really here. So just a few key things. A lot of places, a lot of times uh, where you work, they will withhold your taxes for you. Um, and you can fill out your paperwork, your W-9s and all that. And that's based on how much you earn and your um, your situation. Do you have child dependents and all the rest? And then your income falls in what's called a tax bracket and that determines what percentage of your income you have to pay in taxes uh, our textbook has an outdated tax bracket so this one is no longer used but this is an example of one um, and in it you will see the four different um, filing statuses you can file as a single person if you are legally married to someone you can file jointly or if your spouse is no longer alive you can file as a widower if you are married but don't want to file together you can file as married filed separately you'll see that the brackets are exactly the same uh, almost as the single it's just in the higher level incomes things change you get taxed a little bit higher so in this case this is where earning more money it becomes advantageous to uh, file married, the higher your income is. And then head of household is for those individuals who, um, I think kind of in the divorce category, you have dependents, but you're not married. So um, you'll be in one of these filing statuses, which then will depend on the percentage of your income that you will pay as taxes. So if you're a person who is single, and you have a taxable income. Oh, let's pause and talk about this. The calculation of your taxable income can be quite complicated if you are um, filing an itemized deductions sort of thing. So you can um, deduct charitable donations, you can deduct um, uh, mortgage interest rates, you can deduct student loan interest, uh, all kinds of different things that can reduce your income, your taxable income, which then determines what bracket you're in. The majority of taxpayers in America take the standard deduction. Um, these days, I think for for married uh, filing jointly or we're married, it's like twenty four thousand, and for filing single, it's like twelve thousand. You just reduce your income by that amount. For our purposes, uh, we're always going to assume a taxable income or we're gonna use the standard deduction. Like in the project, you're being asked to take, find an income and use the standard deduction to calculate your taxable income. Otherwise, it's quite complicated. So if a person is, is single, so that means they're in this bracket and they have a taxable income of 42,000, we just need to figure out what, where does 42,000 fit in these ranges of numbers. Notice 42,000 is above 38,000, but below 82,000. So they fall into the 22% tax bracket. If they were, if this person, if there were two people that were filing jointly, they were married and they made 42,000, they would fall into the 12% tax bracket. Now, the reason, I think the rationale here is that this income is being, has to account for two people's in, uh, like costs of living and all the rest. So they get taxed at a lower rate than this one person. Presumably the married couple has more expenses. Although if you think about it, 
probably not because it's two people sharing meals sharing a home and all the rest so probably the expenses are comparable maybe not i don't know at any rate this would be the difference between the two now if you read through this bit um we're, our goal is to calculate how many taxes would this would this um, single person pay and the author is like well you might be thinking because the tax bracket they're in the 22 percent tax bracket they have to pay 22 percent of their income um, but that's not the correct answer this this would be 22 percent of all of their their income but really they get taxed at a 10 percent rate everyone get taxed at that rate for the first nine thousand five hundred twenty five dollars they make then the amount they make over that they get taxed at 12 percent and the amount they make over that they get taxed at 22 percent so our job is to figure out how much of this income uh, gets taxed at these three different rates this is called a progressive tax um, thing whereas a flat tax would just be like you paid this percentage of your income uh, so on this next page, we are, well, our author does the example here to compute it. I'm going to show it in Desmos. I'll write it out here and then show it. So they would pay 10% of that first $9,525. They would then pay 12% of the difference between the $38,700 and the $9,525. What this is doing is we already paid taxes on this amount. And so we're subtracting the amount we pay taxes on from this maximum. We're then adding to that the 22%, which here we're going to put in the maximum amount they made, which is their 42,000. And we're going to subtract from that what we already paid taxes on, which is this 38,700. In other words, we're asking ourselves how much extra over 38,700 did we make how much of that is getting paid at the 38,700 rate. So let's type this in Desmos so you can see that playing out. So at the 10% rate, they owe $952.50 in taxes. At the 12% rate, we're looking at this 38,700 minus the amount we already paid taxes on. Oh my goodness, things got crazy here. What happened? Okay, 0 0.2 uh, times 38,700 minus 9525. Okay, so they owe $3,501 on that bit. And then at the 22% rate, they owe 42,000 minus the amount that's already been taxed, which is that, that amount. So the total tax liability is how accountants talk about taxes. In other words, the total amount of money that this single person would owe the federal government is $5,179.50. If we want to know what would the flat tax rate be for this person, like what actual percent of their taxable income are they paying, it's this. Take their 42000 and divide it into that amount they're paying and they're paying a 12.33 percent flat tax rate that's how much they owe 